actual communication from Konami? Make sure you guys smash the living crap out of that subscribe button so you guys don't miss out on more Oz content. We just got a huge announcement here. The next Forbidden and Limited list update will be coming in late August. So we can see the impact of the Infinite Forbidden on the metagame before making any changes. We're excited to see everyone's deck building creativity display once info is released. Okay. This is... I, I know a lot of people are going to look at this and they're going to immediately respond and go, Konami is an absolute dog shit company. Why, you know, how, why are you not making a ban list and then making another ban list? I get that. I know that we have wanted a list for a while, but I, I have to be the voice of reason here for a second. We already know that Fiendsmith is going to turn this meta down for what? All right, we already know that things are about to get very disgusting with Beatrice. All right, we already know that whatever is about to happen is about to be very ugly. All right, that there's nothing where... We also know that the Snake Eye stuff is a little bit out of hand, as it is right now. We do know, based on the current OCG ban list, though, I'm going to be completely upfront and honest with you about this, we've already started to see that Fiendsmith stuff has power crept the Snake Eyes core into literal, like, being rolled back. All right, there's, there's no ifs, ands, or buts about that. That is the reality of the situation. Fiendsmith is the pinnacle of one-card engines, in all of this. What Konami has chosen to say here is, hey, we know that, you know, we haven't done anything in a while, we know you're frustrated. We also know that once Fiendsmith touches down, we already know that everybody's about to be very upset with the whole, you know, <laughs> the whole spinning out of control even further with Beatrice. We understand that. So what they're saying here is, be patient, all right? We're gonna, what's the saying? You know, get two birds with one stone out here. You know, instead of having two lists and, you know, spreading them out, like, honestly, you should have had a list in June and they could have done a list in August, but, you know, what do we, what do we know here? Um, also, I do want to point out here with this announcement, not only are they basically telling us straight up here that they're going to take care of Beatrice for us and, you know, kind of roll back. That means what, the Fiendsmith package will just have Wave King Kaiser? I think that's going to hurt some of the prices on Fiendsmith, which is good, everybody. All right, that means that if you are looking at getting Fiendsmith cards out here on the back end of things, that means that taking out the Beatrice package actually just helps out things so crazily. Like, that's a W right there. If Beatrice goes away, yes, you can still make other rank sixes. There's nothing wrong with that. There, there, are, there are a couple of very cool rank sixes out here that you can mess around with, and I think that's a good thing, all right? You, you take your utility options where you get them, you mess around with the levels of good things that you, you can see. I, I'm happy with this. That's a good thing. Um, also, to be honest with you here, um, as much as like we not we, we might be looking at this announcement and going, uh, you know, like this is not the greatest thing in the world. Well, this also means that if the Snake Eyes current problems that we've been seeing in the course of the game here have been way too problematic, and which we know, all right, we know that the Snake Eyes stuff has gotten out of hand as of late. I mean, uh, granted, I mean, you, what, like four months ago, you had people complaining about the course of the game, wanting to quit because the Snake Eye stuff was literally too much. Um, and, I mean, look at it now. Wanteds are barely $20. The Bell Stars are hitting those $30 marks for this point in time. Um, I... <sighs> I, I know that when you're looking at this and it's like you've already you've got one expensive engine and now you have to pick up another expensive engine to add into it to have the Fiendsmith stuff, you know, be a consistency upgrade to that. I, I get where the frustration comes and I, I'm thinking here that having that potential dial back on the power scale. I think would be a very, very nice thing for the community. And I do think overall that we need to be patient. We need to just wait and see how this list is going to turn out. Um, I, I hate to say it, but this puts you on a timer of uh, probably 
if I had to say, five, six weeks. Uh, six weeks, I think, being too long. But the fact that Konami has said, hey, you have this list coming out in five weeks, we can go from there. Um, I guess as a final closure to this, uh, with this whole little thing here. If you are looking at picking up Snake Eyes cards, keep in mind that the way that this list is predicted to be, um, I believe that this is right around the time of the tens. So, and we already know that Dia Bellstar is announced for a reprint down in, what was it, uh, November. Uh, which means we're probably going to see Wanta, we're probably going to see Snake Eyes Ash, possibly Flamberg Dragon, and all of those potential things going. We also assume that we'll probably see Beatrice get checked to some point on this list as well, uh, which means Fiendsmith cards will probably fall. But, I mean, how far back can you dial back the meta? And how far back can you have these rogue decks go to actually be acceptable options in my personal opinion like I, I guess that's that's my other thing that i'm worried about here is you know seeing how they're structuring this announcement and saying hey you know we want to see how this is going to impact the meta it clearly says that they're worried about something is is the fiend smith stuff such a tier zero thing that you're finally getting off your butts and you're finally going oh great you know Maybe our player base actually is, you know, pissed at us. But if you're, if you know your player base is pissed, then why are you making an announcement and saying, "Hey, we'll check back with you guys in five weeks or so," to give you guys a little swift kick in going, "Hey," and especially when you're saying late August, I don't like that either because Euros is going to be done, you know, at the end of July. You could very easily release a list in very early August and call it a day and achieve the exact same result, you know? But I guess they want to give four weeks of play time or the illusion of four weeks of play time here to the player base so that they can actually try out something. <sighs> I, I don't like that at all. I, I do not like this announcement. I do not like how this can be seen as just, we should have done something sooner, but we knew things were gonna get a lot worse so you guys can do your thing. So are you gonna rush out and pick up Snake Eyes cards? And be like, we're going to beat the system out here. Yug, 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 yug. Ah, I don't like losing me money at all. You already know. I know three people that are going to rush out and immediately get their cores super cheap off people. And they're going to lose their butts. And it's going to be great. Please leave a comment down below to tell me what you guys think. And I will see your beautiful faces back here later in the day, guys. Peace out. Patrons. Thank you. Uh. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Check out these other videos.